A special thanks to everyone here for being a super sponsor of the Ramp Project. Visit David X Newton on Patreon to join the ASCII Brigade. So this time you find me almost exactly where you left me, and we are going to shift over to the Ninth Circle by Hyron. Right, the next map is 140. All oh, right, I'll do it. Wish me luck. 1,095 monsters. Here we go. Well, not my best effort. Need to get the cells before I start shooting. Right, seven health, I'll carry through the rest of the map. Goodness gracious me. Ow. Let's do this a bit better then. I feel I shouldn't take the Megasphere immediately because I should be able. Uh, well, I, maybe I shouldn't be able to survive this. But I feel I should be able to use some of my 100 health to start off with. Uh, 129, that's not bad, but uh, I think we can do it better. Okay. Oh, almost! I'll, I'll, I'll get it just when I'm about to be killed. That's my, that's the plan. We'll see. Yes, full 200. Okay. That's how I get there. I kind of like the shooting gallery aspect of it. I think I might have said that before I died last time. I can't remember. Oh. Well, what now? Well, it's not that. Here we go. Oh, this is much more efficient. you just get lost. Here come the arch trials. Files uh, did a double act at the Apollo Theatre. Would they be Archie Comics? Yeah, I'd probably deserve that. Oh, I don't need. To, I don't need to take that. Oh, 
That was a bit lucky, wasn't it? Oh. A bit too arrogant. I thought I might be able to finish them all off. Yeah. I had an incredible amount of luck that time. There we go. That's an escape. I'm almost, I'm almost getting there. My trouble is I'm panicking. Why am I panicking? Because there's the six bazillion monsters behind me. Ow. Oh. Arch juggled. doesn't quite come out quickly enough for my liking. Ugh. Oh, I thought I was out of view. No, I'm... <laughs> I'm not going to do it that way. Oh! Yes, that's all of them! Get as many BFG balls in succession as I possibly can. Oh, here come the cyber demons. Just need to grab another mega sphere. Hold on a minute. I'm not sure whether I should be antagonizing them. Yeah, I, I'll want the cyber demons about now, please. Trying to escape. Ow. Mm, might not have been the best place to flee. Oh, I suspect the uh, ocean of khaki demon corpses is very deliberate there, so you can't see where you're dodging. Go. Wah! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, I picked that up too early. Now, I was going to say in the last uh, video where I spent too long on some very long maps because they weren't very stressful maps, they were just long. I didn't feel like it was impossible to beat them, and indeed I, I actually was quite relaxed playing with them. Uh, <laughs> this time round is not the case. 
There's just been two of these so far. Uh, the other one was uh, not a work in progress anymore. But what maps they are when you put them on the... Right, there we go. Ah. Uh. Oh. Little bit slow. Oh, this is a bad idea. What did I do last time? I slipped down by accident, that's what I did last time. That was the James Bond music, I hadn't had a time to take it in before now. James Bond wouldn't have to face this, he'd already have pulled out an underwater car and some kind of jetpack. Oh, should I retreat down there? I think I'm going to regret it. But not in the short term. Bye then. I think we know hand on heart that I'm not completing this without cheats, but it, I feel like giving it a try. please. Uh, can I have a bio suit, please? I couldn't see which exact arch file was after me. Ow! And down, okay. There's the other megasphere. Just in time to be blasted off into space. I've noticed um, the lava fall textures a bit weird in this map as well, which suggests that somebody overwrote it. So I'll get you for that. I saw them a minute, a minute ago. Give me my trousers, you minion. Ah! Tell 
be you saw bio suits as well. There it is. Thank you. Right, that's got rid of the arch files. Uh, two left. I think I need to adapt my movement to not double back on myself. Or, or fly into rockets, you know, that helps as well. He's just still there. Last stand. Need a bio suit. Anyone else? Oh, there's a switch. Oh good, there are more of you. Thanks for joining the party. Bloody pain elementals, bloody revenants, bloody manky by bloody archfiles, bloody high run. I was I was getting better at just stemming the flow of monsters at least. If I can get rid of as many of them as I possibly can at the very start. Oh please. Oh god, you're still alive! Oh you bl blasted me into a megasphere, that's handy. Fucking hell! Monster count still seems to be going upwards, that's not good. Oh, it's like Christmas in here. This is what, uh... John Romero wanted to avoid in the first uh, iteration of the BFG. Just all these lights everywhere. Oh, where was that from? Oh, did I... Oh. Right. How about the rest of you, then? Only took a couple to the face. It's quite good by my standards. I've just noticed I don't have any weapons except the BFG and the pistol. Pretty unusual situation for any map. Means I have to exterminate lost souls with the... Oh no. Oh my god, how many of them are there? Oh, 
much for the juggle. If one gets you, then it's all over. I could increase my chances of survival just by picking up the Megasphere that I can't get to afterwards anyway. Oh, didn't quite get far enough behind that pillar. the pillar with the BFG. Teleported away! Sticky toffee pudding, please, I deserve that. Have they finished everything off up here? No, but they're close. All right, let's use this red key then. No point staying around. Oh, fur. God, I run. You have a twisted sense of enjoyment. Okay, I'll also open the door first. All right, let's try standing here and then getting the cyber demon to rocket them. That's too. Getting closer. Have I used all the mega spheres now? Ow. Ow. Whoa. Well, that was a nice dodge. Ah! <laughs> Right, going down there, also not a good idea as it turns out. Oh, piss off. Uh, loot back a bit lazily. Ow. Running out of ammunition at a bad time. Ow. How'd that lost soul get up here? Oh, it flew. Yeah. Makes sense now you say it. Oh, come on! Oh, we're so close! And also really far away. Ow, oh, there, bastard. Yeah, I'm interested to see if I left a Megasphere down here, because that'd be nice. Spare a Megasphere, please. Really, none of them? I thought I might have left one. Yes! Let's go! I'm free! That was the ninth circle by Hyron.
And I actually finished a high front map! I'm feeling quite proud of myself. Poco's Respite is the name of our next map, and I'm hoping that it lives up to the Respite name, uh, because we've got quite stressful maps otherwise on this run. Poco's Respite by Commander Disco Cat. Here we go. Welcome to this facility, dedicated to my late cat Poco. All right. Now I've been <laughs> after I said that I tried to be quiet. Further ahead is the area dedicated to Boko, but demons invited themselves. Go ahead and kill them all. Because some people were discussing what a uh, me sound effect pack would sound like, and one of them was in moments of prolonged silence, say "all right" out of nowhere. So now I'm all self-conscious about it. Here's one that'll drive you mad in return, though. I noticed, well, I've noticed for quite a while, as I've been editing my videos, that I have this habit of when I'm about to speak, I click like a radio being turned on, and I don't know why I do it. So I have to say, watch out, here comes some speech. But you'll listen for that next time I speak. And you will never unhear it, and then you'll stop watching all my videos. <laughs> and I haven't really thought this plan through. <laughs> there. I knew you were going to do that. Oh, I didn't know you were going to do that! <laughs> Quite finished with these. This is a very E1M1 walkway. I like the uh, cascade. Your help there. Nice of you to leave a trail of goodies for me. Sure, a cat would love just balancing along this. Not my best idea to rush into a room full of vet scanners. I was just thinking that uh, I have a rare... My cats have this rare sense of actually using the stuff we buy for them. You can actually get them out a cat tree and they'll sleep on it. And not just hide in the box. They do also like hiding in things. I had to fish cocoa out of the bootcase just earlier today. And they have this uh, cat cave made of wool that they can sneak into.
Uh, when I was growing up and my parents had cats, we never really had cat toys for them. Uh, they would just uh, let them outside and uh, I suppose their toys were the, the birds and voles and rabbits and occasional giraffes that they took home with them. Okay. Well, this is a little land party they've got going on here. Still tearing through them, there's so many of them. I saw a little poster back there. All right, made it through the locker room, I think. There we go. Loom. It's a very nice looking cat. Okay. We're going to make it back. Well, the monsters are definitely of a higher tier this time. I don't think the game ever actually said that uh, this was the way back, did it? Because I just assumed that we'd got to the cat and now we had a similar setup to the first room with the crates and the uh, uh, the metal ball. And now it seems that we're uh, completing the journey. I don't know if that's the intention. Well, that took far too much ammo. Do you have some? Thanks. <laughs> Can't quite get down there. Banging forehead on the ceiling. Two backpacks. And what now? Oh, another one. Oh, where's that yellow key? Look at that room that's entirely blue over there. Ah! So you just had to remember where this room was and notice that uh, you could get through it on the auto map. Right, we've got the... We got red from there, we got blue from elsewhere. I wish I were paying attention. Um, and where is the yellow one? Oh.
Ah. <laughs> Hi, Commander. <laughs> I love this poster. I saw this in the uh, Discord ages ago, but this is the first time I've encountered it in the game. Oh, I, I, I love how you take the themes and run with them every year. So, how do I get over there? I can't walk through there. Which is a bit of a surprise. It didn't look like it had uh, glass or anything there. Right, all the way back to the switch. And there we go, you made it! This place is now peaceful again, apart from the 12 monsters I left behind. Well, I'm sorry about your cat, but uh, I did enjoy the level. You might want to look at the shape of the map, by the way. Oh! <laughs> Oh, why didn't I notice that? Just even got intestines. <laughs> That's very clever. Poco passed away on November the 18th, 2023. I still miss him. He was the bestest cat in the world and he was with me for more than 15 years. That's impressive. Here's a few pictures of him. Stay all the time you need. Oh, this is so lovely. Thanks for playing my first map and have a good round 2024. You are so nice. And so is your cat. Oh, this is a new genre that I hadn't expected to find in RAM. By the way, if you're okay with it, please send me feedback. I'm Disco Cat on David X Newsons Discord server. Uh, and it's always nice just to see flags like this dotted around ramp as well, because it does take place during Pride Month. Uh, I hadn't intended that when I started it, but it's nice to have that theme of just everyone being welcome. Oh well, back to killing monsters. And as I was playing that map, I just got sent this picture of Coco and Pepper, who are staring intently out at something that we can't see. Presumably a interesting bird, or something else that they fancy killing. Anyway, uh, Anti-Static 3 Revenge, and I can't see the rest because it's behind the Doom window. Here it is. Anti-Static 3 Revenge of the Moving. And uh, by Knights 108 again. Uh, this looks like it's going to be a bit of a headache, doesn't it? Oh well. Well, <laughs> that's as good as it's going to get, I think. Even though I do not like green eggs and ham, I will keep trying for 10 minutes. It 
They said that uh, when you're getting a baby to try new foods, you've got to get them to taste it seven times, and that's when they'll truly decide if they'll like it or not, rather than just being suspicious of it, of it because it's new. We have pulled a switch. We have pulled another switch. We have pulled a third switch. Goodbye. Hello. Bloody hell! Trying to decide, is it worth uh, finishing them all off? I don't think it is, but uh, we're going to do it anyway. Until I get fed up. He'll at least give me some... sanctuary. <laughs> Okay, we have a safe room now. It unfortunately doesn't protect us from the rest of the map or from the samba music that's uh, happening in the background just now. I don't know what to do! So that picks up the rocket launcher. Oh, and I was, I was all panicking, but I don't think anything moves in that room until you do. A mega sphere. Oh, I fought valiantly, if I do say so myself. But I do need to get out of here, it turns out. This is not the way to do it. Okay, I'm out. Why is it called anti-static, by the way? Because uh, I suppose I am anything but static. Because standing still is suicide here. Even after this room, I'm going to be... I, I won't have even made a dent in the number of monsters in this map. Oh! Shouldn't have gotten while he was distracted. All right, let's have another uh, Megasphere, please. Oh, just in time. <laughs> That's a little house of arch files there. Ow, 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 ow. Ah, that's my usual problem, stopping right in front of a Revenant missile. 
Oh, the, look at the number of Mega Spheres that are here. Okay. Got at least one arch file on that run. Where's the one that was outside? Yeah, I think something finished him off. I don't think it was me. That's one hideous wedding cake of revenants. Ow! Oh, yeah, someone's on the phone. Hold on. Survey taker, I just sat through the whole 20 minutes of asking questions about whether Uber and Lyft and so on should uh, actually give their employees some benefits instead of pretending that they're all into independent contractors so that they don't have to pay them as much. Then they go through all these questions about who you voted for and uh, which party you associated with. And, uh, can you not just guess the rest based on my answers? Sorry, I stopped moving again. That's my mistake. Okay, we've got 3301 monsters left, so this has really been absolutely nothing compared to the rest of the map. I genuinely don't know if it's, you know, if you, even if I put on god mode here, it's still going to take me a year and a half to get through this map. <laughs> Where did he come from? was one of those moments where you lean physically away from the monitor. <sighs> okay. That's given us one key. Well, at least there's a BFG in there. That'll speed things up a bit. I'll just wait out here, maybe do a crossword or something.
Master count's heading in the right direction, that's good. Alright, I suppose I'd better go in there now. more continuous fire, I think. Oh, that's not continuous fire. Let me out. Right, we've got three invulnerabilities. Another mega three, I'll have that. And, uh... There goes the blue door. Jesus Christ. Hold on a minute, I've got to get more cells. Problem. Oh, there's the exit. Good to know. If I just leave them alive, do you think they'll uh, help with the conflagration that's about to happen here? Oh, for Take one of your invulnerabilities, please. You got any uh, cells in there? Hold on. Now, what did that do? I might want another one of those, please. Uh, most of them have finished each other off by this point, that's good. Red key. Uh, I can't tell which one's red. Oh my god. I'm remembering here that the BFG blasts towards where you were facing at the time of firing. At least, I think it does. That's what I'm relying on. Is an exit around here? Oh yeah, there was the exit. I'll, I'll just take that. Oh, it's not open. Maybe 
Maybe that'll do it. Let's try this way. Hell's an arch file. Very much looking at me. <laughs> oh no, 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 let me get to the Megasphere. Thanks. Bye. Well, that was nonsensically stressful, but I think I'm getting the hang of those slaughter maps now and the idea of how you're meant to move through them and make your own space. Uh, I'm certainly not uh, having to submit to them as much as I did last time. Oh, Imp Grove. Let's hope this is a nice, relaxing one. Length 5, difficulty 3. Let's give it a go. Okay. Nice storeroom here. The stretch door looks a bit weird. Oh no, I see what you meant to do though. It's meant to be so that that's uh, centered in it. There's another door texture that's uh, thinner that would have worked slightly better there, but you've got the idea of what you're doing. Oh, I see the, um, the bricks have been reduced as well. That kind of messes with my sense of perspective, but now that I think about it, I don't know why I don't do that more to uh, give uh, textures a new lease of life, bigger bricks, smaller bricks. You can make them a lot more versatile that way. Can we go over this way? I cannot. Okay. Red card to open that door. Would be nice to have some indication beyond the message. Oh, I suppose we're this one. I've spent so long with a BFG that I thought I could just wipe them all out by firing once there. Uh, yellow skull to activate that object. And can I find it anywhere in the nooks and crannies here? Uh, stalagmite formations with the rocks. Well, there's something going on in there. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting how you used a portal to make the bridge. That's interesting. I thought uh, a 3D floor would uh, do that. But that's a uh, very nice alternative. Right, that's the red door. And I just want to make sure I haven't missed anything out here. All right. Ah, stairs. Great, yellow skull key, or a pack of custard creams as I know it. When I was growing up, we were allowed to have two biscuits a day for after dinner dessert or whatever you chose. And I always loved one custard cream and one jammy dodger. And the jammy dodger was the superior of the two, but you weren't allowed to take more than one of those because the packets were so small. You only get eight in a packet. <laughs> These 
these days I don't have any uh, supervision or self-control, so I, if you give me a pack of jammy dodgers, I'll just eat all eight of them in one sitting. And then start on another one. I mentioned that to uh, a nurse at some appointment, and she immediately said, Oh, are you on Citalopram? Yeah, that explains it. been waffling, haha, about biscuits, uh, the scenery hasn't really changed much in a while. Just been uh, plowing through the caves, uh, defeating the imps. The entire imp army. Oh, we're running a bit short of ammunition. How to be the chainsaw far yet? Oh, have I worked my way all the way around here and uh, come out at the, uh... Yeah, I've, ju I've just uh, come out at the other end. Hang on. There was a bit down here I didn't explore. Oh, I notice you've used slopes on the ceiling to make it a bit more cavey. That worked quite well, I think. All right, so there's that. Whoop, hold up. That's the door. You hear that door? How I said door just now? That's, that's very West Country. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with biscuits and an identity crisis in the same video. Um... Can someone tell me the way to get out? There we go, okay. Right, got the blue key from all that. Imp Cave's a nice enough idea, but it was a bit samey and a bit long. Oh, now, why can't I go through here? That's weird. Just a decorative door, I suppose. You have a problem with that imp there, because uh, he's stuck because his uh, bounding box is always square. And it overhangs the edge or overhangs slightly into the wall. Sometimes you think a monster has enough room to manoeuvre, but they don't. Okay, plenty of nice uh, rewards here. Looks a bit like a Wolfenstein CD. Uh, Wolfenstein CD. Wolfenstein 3D secret. Just because of the big uh, fields of items to run through. Right, we got a blue skull key. Yeah, a 
bit of variation this time. Of course, it is a Baron of Hell, which is functionally a big imp. undecided whether to follow this trail into the cave. somebody else. I haven't found a single secret yet. There may be six of them. Now, do I see a rocket launcher tucked behind him? Yes, and a plasma gun. And let's get out of here. Oh, I can't. Oh, something's going to go on there. Don't know what it is yet. I can see a bit of texture repetition here where you've uh, made the new lines. And uh, if you just select a wall and press A in Ultimate Doom Builder, you can automatically align everything. Plasma now. There we go. Just checking if you've hidden any uh, more monsters in those uh, nukes. When you've got an outdoor landscape like this, you've got plenty of uh, hiding places for monsters to come out behind you. That's a surprise. Can he get through there? I don't think he can. Go on then. line of fire, please. Whoa, okay. There we go, okay. Oh yeah, no, back here, okay. That was a neat little circuit. So now... Oh no, I can't get through there, which is 
a bit strange. And red card. an archfell that fortunately can't revive anything. It's kind of hard to believe when I started playing Doom, I used to think that uh, the archfell should basically always be used like that, because it was far too annoying to have his revival abilities. But I really grew to appreciate it, and how it changed uh, the dynamic of fights and everything. Everything Doom is just so well balanced against each other. It's like Super Metroid, where they could never deliberately have made that incredible stack of bugs and workarounds that make the game so interesting. I thought that might be a pillar to touch for the exit. It wasn't. Just, just, ah! Whoa! I'm lost. Oh, okay. So we briefly caught between dimensions there, but uh, we made it and there was some portal trickery right at the very end to unnerve us. Okay, that was a very good Doom map. Uh, uh, nice and classic style. I think the Imp Caves went on a bit long, like I said at the time because you're going through these grey corridors and more imps and grey corridors and more imps. But everything worked mechanically, and uh, you started getting a bit more varied towards the end and having some more interesting rooms with varied heights and so on. So I love seeing people evolve as they map. This next one is called Patience Teaser. Uh, again, a bit relaxed on the difficulty. A bit high on the length, we'll see. I've only got uh, a few monsters compared to some of the other maps that I've played this time. Love the music, by the way. As usual, I haven't paid attention at all to uh, who wrote it, uh, the banner that I put up at the start of the level. Right, blue and yellow keys there. Feels a bit like a Castlevania I'm adventuring through. Hmm. Have to get round there. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Have been this way. Oh, that's a clever trick thinking that. I was thinking, oh, obviously I have been this way, the dead shotgunners. But uh, then you leap out with the chain gunners.
I love this rocky area. How the rocks uh, blend in with the castle walls. Because I was going to say you're using the same texture an awful lot here as well. There's a surprise! This is a really nice little area. I've seen a lot of people use these alternating rocks as you ascend, and that's a really nice effect that I don't use enough myself. Oh, we're uh, suddenly in a science fiction base. Oh, well, I'll grab that and go, thanks. got those uh, arrows on the floor just in case you missed the blue key. <laughs> 16 monsters to go and we've got our blue and yellow keys. Now I need to find the way back. On occasions like these, you probably want to be able to teleport the player back or find some way to get them back to where they're going, instead of uh, running through dead areas that they've already cleared. I love this music. This is... It makes me feel like I'm going on some sort of adventure. Can I go? I can go up there, but can I go across? Or across on the uh, the torch? No, I can't. Okay. I'll have to find an alternative way to that uh, soul sphere. It'll be around here somewhere. All right, here's the door. One door was not enough to contain him. Archvile boss. Not a big deal. And there we go, we've ascended out of this uh, pleasant little castle adventure. I like when the last map of a uh, set of five, coincidentally, is just a nice, uh, relaxing one. And I enjoyed going through that one. Music's great. Uh, I would possibly use uh, more than one texture throughout most of the map, even though sometimes it's difficult to make rooms cohesive when you've got to switch textures, but yeah, that'll make, that can make it more interesting. And your level design is nice and interesting as well. And that's it. Thanks also to patrons of all tiers who contribute to the monetary and mental cost of hosting RAMP. If you'd like to support the project, please look at David X Newton on Patreon.